Hello everyone. This is Anita Kejriwal here for Crafters Corner, and I am going to do another session of decoupage with you, with the most popular home decor chalk paints. And um, today I am going to show you how to alter this tray using decoupage. And we will be using a variety of products, a new papers, uh, which is called the deco mash paper. Uh, it's a decoupage paper from deco mash and um, it's wonderful print it comes in this beautiful packaging uh, it, there are three papers here three um, sheets here in this and the papers are uh, very thin they are almost to uh, 22 gsm which is extremely thin but uh, they are not as soft as tissue papers um, they have a little crispness in them but uh, they are extremely thin and have to be handled with care. We will also be using this Nouveau embellishment mousse for uh, adding little shine on the corners. This uh, Rangers scraper which we will be using to remove the creases. It is a wonderful tool and a must have uh, for those who like doing decoupage. Then these are the chalk paints. I am so sorry my paints are all messed up because I have been using them a lot. So please excuse me. And... Uh, these are the chalk paints and the we will be using and uh, there is the home decor wax, uh, clear wax and the antiquing wax. This is the antiquing wax and this is the clear wax. We will be using these today and uh, then we will be using this uh, java, then Tuscan red, sheepskin. Most popular is the sheepskin. You must have this in your stash of decoupage if you want to uh, follow this art. And of course we have the mod watch with us. Then we will be using these to start our project. Now first, to start your project, you must uh, clean the surface thoroughly with a cloth. Now before, after doing that, let us cut the deco mash paper to the size of our tray. For this, I am just laying down the paper uh, on the surface and uh, marking where it ends and then I have used a ruler to draw a line on the markings because I want to be really perfect in this. I don't want to take any chances uh, lest the paper is a little bigger or a little smaller and then at the end I might uh, have some defects in my uh, project. So uh, please be very thorough with your markings and here I have marked the paper with pencil and I am using scissors to cut off the extra. Today I will be showing you two more new products that is the clear wax and the antiquing wax and as we proceed I will talk more about these products. Uh, these two products are extremely uh, beautiful and wonderful products because they help to add shine to your uh, project uh, and also act as a sealant. Now here I have uh, cut uh, the deco mash paper to the size of my tray and now we have to apply the masking tape on the inside edge because uh, that is the area where we don't want the paint to come when we are applying it on the borders outside. We want because that is the area we will be um, sticking our deco mash paper. So we don't want that uh, dark color to come here and, and uh, since the paper is thin it will reflect from underneath. Now after masking I have started painting using the Java uh, paint, using uh, nice strokes, nice even strokes. Just keep applying on all the sides, uh, inside and outside the edge of the tree. And uh, you need not be very, uh, you know, particular about how your brush strokes are because home decor chalk paints are such wonderful paints. Uh, even uh, you know a beginner who is not very good in painting or who is really scared of painting uh, can also do this with much ease. So here I am applying paint in uh, short even strokes, a thin, a nice thin coat all around and it dries in minutes giving me an, a very nice matte finish. I have painted it all around. Now I will be doing a new technique with you today which is called the distress te technique. Now for this, I have to apply a lighter color or contrasting shade on top and for that, I am using the pink, uh, onion pink or light pink uh, shade which is there on the flowers on the deco mash paper. 
and creating this color with the sheep skin and tuscan red and then i will be applying this on the brown color which we have done that uh, here i am applying this nice pink color uh, can you see how subtle the shade is it is neither too bright nor too dull it's a very nice onion pink color almost matching with the flowers and butterflies on the decomash pattern paper which we have uh, then here i'm applying it all over the brown uh, paint which we had applied earlier i want to cover the entire uh, surface where i had painted the brown paint because uh, here we will be using the distress technique and uh, continue painting like this here also the paint should neither be very thick nor very thin and uh, use nice coat uh, even coat of uh, your brush uh, of course one thing you must remember is to dry each layer of paint with the hair dryer uh, because it is very essential to do that as uh, you know at the end of the uh, project there will be several layers of paints clear wa uh, wax varnish or whatever mod podge so if you do not dry in between the layers uh, ultimately your project uh, will not give a very nice look it will have uh, you know lot of um, uh, defects uh, in them so here i finished painting uh the entire tray with uh, i want to do the distressed uh, look uh, on as you see it again dries to a very uh, quick finish quick matte finish but you must dry it with a hair dryer i really emphasize this on time and again because at times we do tend to forget this and this is very very important also keep dipping your brush after each painting in water to prevent them from getting spoiled now with the sanding uh, block i am just going to now remove little paint that pink paint which we had done uh, uh, from the top of the uh, edge now this will reveal the brown ink which we had uh, sorry brown paint which we had uh, painted before and this will give a nice distressed woody texture and i really love this way because it is very very simple and it really gives a very nice distressed texture to my project so here i am uh, distressing on all sides so just remember to um, use sanding block or a uh, sandpaper to, uh, to do this distressed uh, technique and what you will achieve is a very nice uh, distressed edging edges all around so after i finished distressing i have applied masking tape on the inside of the edge the inside uh, standing edge of the rim of the tray because now i want to apply the base coat which is there uh, the color of the base coat which is there on the deco mash paper i will be uh, uh, sticking the deco mash paper here on the base and since it's a very thin paper uh, i i'm scared that the, the color of the mdf or the color of the wood will reflect through the paper so i am using the color of the uh, pattern paper or the deco mash paper on the uh, tray here for this i have a uh, mixed vintage mustard and sheep skin together now here the after the paint has dried i'm using mod podge just apply a thin layer of mod podge all over the base and just dry it till just so that it remains sticky but it is not all that wet so that you can easily stick the paper without tearing it now start with the pair uh, with the paper and here comes the most difficult part because here you have to be very very careful don't hurry up here start with one corner and adhering as you go on with your fingers pressing and uh, applying pressure very nicely all over to remove the creases as you see i am approaching the other end i am really moving my fingers very fast in a very circular motion applying even pressure with all my fingers with my thumb so that i get a very nice smooth look you can even remove air bubbles or creases with the scraper it's a very nice tool to remove uh, creases wrinkles or air bubbles wherever you see air bubbles keep pressing it with your finger in a circular motion and use the scraper wherever you need it 
uh, be very careful with the edges and once this has been done dry it further with a hair dryer as you see this has given me a very nice uh, uh, look of the interior of the tray and now i'm sealing it further with the help of mod podge apply just a single layer of mod podge on top so that if any uh, part of the paper which is not stuck uh, that will again adhere to the base of the tree dry it further now there is one uh, repairing technique which i must uh, show you see if there are air bubbles here any part of the tree just make a small cut with your pen knife and uh, smooth them over with your finger to remove that extra bubble the air will come out through that hole and then you can again remove the crease uh, of the paper with the scraper or with your hand so here you see it gives a very nice uh, look uh, of the tray you see the paper looks uh, really really amazing it gives a very smooth finish and now i'm applying clear wax on the interior part of the tray the inside of the tree I'm using clear wax because I don't want uh, any other color to come on this. I want it to be transparent. And here I'm applying the antiquing wax which has a brown uh, tint in it. These two wax acts as sealant for uh, my project or my tray. It will protect the my tray from moisture and uh, dust. And here how it looks. Let it dry for 24 hours and then buff it with the help of cloth. soft lint free cloth just go on rubbing till you achieve a nice shine the wood tint uh, will remain intact with the antiquing wax because that is what we had wanted on the edge we had wanted it nice distressed woody texture with the hint of pink and brown because that is the design on our pattern paper and here i am rubbing very nicely all over with the uh, lint free cloth i have uh, allowed it to dry for almost 24 hours and uh, then i've started buffing it as you see there is a nice shine on the entire project so now we can uh, do a little decoration of our project i'm using uh, indian gold novo mousse it's a one another fantastic um, uh, product which has come in the market nowadays now it is very similar to inca gold but this is uh, water resistant and if mod podge is uh, rubbed over it it does not lose its color so all the products are available at crafters corner do visit our blog also i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do subscribe and give a thumbs up and thank you for watching